Imagine a sea so vast that it was once the fourth largest lake in the world, a thriving ecosystem home to bustling fishing towns, a lifeline for millions. But today, it's a desert, a ghostly graveyard of abandoned ships and lost livelihoods. This is the heartbreaking story of the Aral Sea, the sea that vanished. In the 1960s, the Soviet Union devised an ambitious plan to turn the deserts of Central Asia into vast cotton fields. To achieve this, they diverted the AMU Daria and Sir Daria, the very lifelines of the Aral Sea, into an extensive network of irrigation canals. But beneath this success, a disaster was brewing. By the 1970s, the water levels in the Aral Sea had noticeably begun to decline. The once thriving fishing industry suffered immensely. The ambition to transform deserts into cotton fields had come at a devastating cost. By the early 2000s, the Aral Sea had lost over 90% of its water. The exposed seabed turned into a toxic wasteland, filled with salt and pesticides left behind by decades of farming. Deadly dust storms poisoned the air, spreading disease across the region. The people of the Aral faced an environmental catastrophe unlike any other.